I did read a really interesting book once, though, about um, the brain, and it was kind of like a pop science book. Um, I'll have to remember, give me a minute, I'll try to remember the title, but basically it was, like, part of the discussion was, like, if our brains are chemical signals, like, what is free will kind of questions. Um, but then it got into this really interesting, like, topic of, like, basically prison reform was, like, the whole second half of the book. Dude, uh, I think I know this book. What book is it? I'm trying Unless to, I read some, uh, I'm something. I'm trying to remember oh, what sorry. it was called. I feel like it was a blue cover with yellow writing. <sighs> but, like, the whole second half of the book was, like, if our decisions are based on, like, essentially, like, brain chemistry, then all crime is, like, I said I like, think damage chat exists. Basically, how do we decide to draw Incognito. The yes! This is what happens if none of us read chat, by the way. Chat's been, Mars has been spamming Mars, the title yes. for the last two minutes. Yeah, and the whole second half of the book is, like, basically, the what we decide is, like, that's kind of like what's a the, mental illness defense of crime is like an arbitrary line, obviously. Um, what's the book? Uh, what's the book? The version of this that is for uh, nature versus nurture is uh, the other. It's called the other something, and then it's the guy's name, and it's the story of uh, twins separated at birth, oh. um, uh, raised in very different ways, and like what ended up um, being something. You know, it, it's it's like some speculation and, and research at the time uh, on like what ended up being what is this nature, is this, what was nurture. Did you do this or is this a lightning issue? What do what do what? This thing here. That's the next one I was gonna work on. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> do you care if I take? Chat does exist, Mars. I'm sorry that Meg's not reading it at all, and I'm sorry that I'm not reading it enough either. Tub, uh, Tub says there's this really good book called Wolf Hall. Mars, I feel you there. I I read that book like quite a long time ago, and was like very surprised by the second part of it. Like, didn't feel like it totally fit. Like, I kind of agree with you there. Um, it's been a long time though. I just found it all very interesting. Sorry. Continue. I'm gonna smash some pumpkins. Okay. Smash pump, smashing pumpkins? What do you mean? For some seeds. Oh, okay. I'm not a masochist. I'm just sad all the time. What a quote, Ted. What a quote. Uh, okay. What's a quote? Hey, Tub, it might make you feel better if you did something like spoil Meg or make Ryan do some push ups. Or maybe you want to be VIP? Maybe that'd make you feel better. She's trying so hard right now. She's trying so hard. It's really admirable if you think about it. Thank you. Trenchy says I'll cave. Oh, Trenchy's gonna make me do some push ups. There we go. There we go. I got you, Trenchy. Thanks for being kind and uh, passing them on. Hi, Kings. What's up, buddy? At least somebody is going to be fit for oh, a wedding. I don't know about that. It's not me. Oh. It's not you. No. I'm you arguably fit? in the worst shape I've been in. And... I mean, you kicked my fucking ass at tennis last night. God damn. <laughs> Six oh six three. Not even close. Never has been. Oh, oh that's obviously not enough. <clears throat> that's okay, I can say it into your ears. Let's begin with this. I want to name my child Ligma Buddle, should I do it? If like you my really buttle. cared for me, you'd support me. I feel uncomfortable with the energy we've created in the studio today. What now? Uh... Uh... 
Wait, who feels uncomfortable? No, me. Oh. About Ligma butthole. Um, oh. How, where did that come from, though? That comment? <laughs> how did we get to Ligma butthole? Yep, there you go. Would Hooker be a better name? Hooker is a much better name, yeah, yeah. My mom's name is Cheryl. <laughs> Her best friends. <laughs> I promise there's a point to Names? That. I have a thing on names. I promise there's a point. What the fuck is happening? I'm really jiving with the free association shit. Um... So my mom's name is Cheryl, and her best mm. friends growing up, their names were Nina and Bambi, which are like pretty wild names, especially since Nina. Mom, mom was born in like I don't know. My mom's 50s, name is Cheryl. Fifties. <laughs> and um. And um. So she always told my grandma that she wanted. She like begged and begged and begged my grandma to change her name to Cherry. Or just to call her Cherry, or let her go by Cherry instead of Cheryl, so she could fit in with Nina and Bambi. And my grandma was like, "No." Abs Wait, how does that? Okay, fill me in here. How does that go with those? Cause Cherry. Well, I mean, it's just like, like Nina and Bambi are both. They just all like, end in vowels. No, they're just like, like cutesy, funny, not funny, but like, kind of offbeat names. Does she wanted to go by what again? Cherry? Cherry. <laughs> my grandma was like, no, You're fucking no, no, you may not go by Cherry. Absolutely not. Because to, to loop it back in, it's kind of a hooker name. You know? I, yeah, I mean. You get it? You looped it back in. You get, the, you get where I'm coming How from? How the fuck? You get this free association <laughs> name game we just played? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I fucking got it. Do you need me to explain it? No, I fucking okay. don't. Thanks so much, though. <laughs> Thanks so much, though. Foot says, I actually said a thing earlier I wanted thoughts on it and I forgot, and I apparently said the rest of us. Is that feedback feedback in and of itself? No, it's not, Foot. Chat's just fucking weird today, and I don't have time to read all the comments out loud because I'm squeezing them in, in between free associations. I want to do a podcast where the narrator is a radio show host and gets super digressive about life and never gets around to the actual program and it's just like six hours of introductory comments over like 12 episodes before the show starts and the podcast ends. I love that foot. Sounds great. I love that a lot. Mars, is your mom's name actually Cheryl? Babe, here. No. He's quoting you. He's memeing you. He's <laughs> memed you. Did you mean me? Wait, y'all are talking- you're reading this, right? Wait, y'all are talking yeah. about names? My mom's name is Cheryl. Well, it is. She's a very nice lady. Meg. <laughs> I thought we agreed not to hypothetically touch the illicit substances until after or during the honeymoon. I had one beer. You did know. have a beer. That I explains beer. fucking everything. I'm gonna go grab a beer right now because I deserve it. God damn it, I'll be right back, chat. You deserve Stream, it? As it's all, if, hey, babe, is... babe, 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 stream's all yours, all right? Okay. Not that you'll have any problems filling the silence today. But then I think you should do the podcast. More thoughts when I get back. Oh, her name is Pixie. One of my friends... Oh, shit. One of my friends is now engaged to this guy, and we can talk about him later, but his mom's name is Candy, which is terrible. Candy and Pixie could be very, could be very good friends, it seems like. This guy, though, we don't even call him by his real name. We call him God's Gift because he, well, number one, he's just a douche. But we went to a Christmas party once that was like a sweater party and um, like an ugly sweater Christmas party. And he wore one of those Christmas sweaters that just has like a present on the front and it has a little tag on it and on the tag it says two women from god so the joke is like the your god's gift to women and so we just literally call him god's gift and sometimes i forget his actual name and now they're engaged which kind of is sad because she's a very swell human in a lot of ways um and i think he kind of sucks but his mom's name's Candy, and he's God's gift, so... 
All right, babe, quick. Candy is better than lollipop or lozenge. Babe, quick, do a uh, free association listing the items we got off of our wedding registry that belong in the kitchen. Go for it. Go. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. You want me to just, just list Just start them? listing. Well, Ryan just brought up... No, that's the item you're not supposed to put on the list. Why? List, just go. You'll see why. Oh, just okay. go. So we got some new pots and pans. We got new dishes that are from Crate and Barrel and are very nice. Um, we got some a new wine bottle opener that's very fancy. Um, we have a new toaster. We have we a, new a new coffee toaster, machine. New coffee we have maker. a new... We have a new blender Riddle coming. thingy. Uh, blender's coming. Um, we have new plates, new wine glasses, new, new wine glasses, champagne yeah. glasses, new mm -hmm. bowls. Um, I saw this TikTok the other day. Measuring game. cups, measuring other thingies. I saw a TikTok the Hold other on, day. Babe, we're not done with the bit yet. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Okay. Do you know the two things on our wedding registry that I'm fucking excited for? Um, our Yeti cooler. We got a, we got a, one of the big ass fancy Yeti coolers. Megan's mom got it for us. It's very nice. Actually, your family got it for us. <laughs> What? I'm aware, but to simplify, oh, I went okay. with the version that both of them got one of, the full okay. version is both of them got one of them for us. We have to return one of them. Anyways, Megan's mom was very nice. Ma Megan's mom's name is Cheryl. The two things I'm excited for off of the whole fucking wedding registry were frozen pint glasses to drink beer out of and a Yeti cooler. That was the whole bit. That was the whole bit. All right, you have about a million other stories to tell. Go for a bit. Oh, I, s I was just going to say. <laughs> I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, you're getting married, good for you, you found love, you cut your bills in half, you're a dual income household, I'm not buying you a fucking blender, I am not doing well. <laughs> and I thought it was all about how we should uh, basically register our single friends for shit. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Sing <laughs> Bars. I did, I, wait, the memes? I didn't actually see the memes. Here you go, babe. Babe, are you looking? <laughs> Just wait, here's another, here's another. <laughs> Stop. My mom's name is Cheryl, by the way. Yeti is really great, uh, footnote. I, we're excited to use it on the, uh, on the honeymoon, actually, we're gonna use the yeah. cooler. I'm, yeah, I'm super it. stoked. The yeah, long, short, it. and short story is that two people bought us Yetis because some people don't know how to read when something is out of stock on a registry. That means don't buy it because somebody else already did. But Megan's mom is very nice, and she's returning hers and or, or giving it to a family member. And so, anyways, but I think you should do the podcast. That sounds awesome. It reminds me of some of the like Night Vale esque uh, elements of what's going on. <laughs> but Ned says, hey Ryan, speaking of cooking in kitchen, what's in that large jar marked flour next to the stove? I have no idea. What do you think it could be? I don't know. No I idea. That's where the guy keeps the cooking. <laughs> <sighs> oh, wow. What a night this has turned out to be. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with you. There's not a damn thing wrong with you. You're perfect the way you are. Also, you're on something, but I'm happy because you seem happy about whatever it is that you're on. I'm on. It might be beer. It might be... I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at the ingredients beer. list for the beer. It might be good sleep. It's probably good sleep. It might be wedding week... Like... Wedding week time. Vibes. Yeah, yeah. Could be. Could be. Dude, another Wandering Traders here. Also, like, you know how I get around vacation. Like, I'm basically on vacation. Did you want a spruce sapling bed? Yeah. I'm gonna buy one for five emeralds from that guy. Yeah, it's true. Basically We're basically on vacation, vacation for like two weeks. Yeah, for sure. Which is awesome. And probably a big part of it, honestly. Mars says last one, but I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> also, there's one more. Ooh. 
I don't know that I'm getting paid enough as the assistant to the physician assistant, uh, by the way. I think we need to talk about my rates of, uh, uh, of how I'm being paid. Yeah? No, of course we don't. I'm just teasing. But also, what a, what a weird conversation this evening has been already. I'm sorry, I can tone it down if you want. No, it's just been, it's been a vibe. It's been some kind of vibe. Son of a bitch. I keep hitting my head. There we go. I'm, I'm buying you a spruce sapling. Thank you. Just one though, so be careful with it. Okay. I'm gonna do what you want with it. You can, I don't care. You can set it on fire or throw it off the edge of the ledge. I don't care, but... Uh, where are you? Um, are you in the dungeon? No, I'm okay. farming. It's good. Oh, I see. Okay. The note says, Martin's <laughs> definition of last, last meme, is the same as like Tina Turner Turner or Cher's final or farewell tour, quote unquote. Where are you? Well, now I went to our warehouse. To the warehouse? To the whorehouse? Warehouse. Oh, my bad. I misread that. To the warehouse. Gotcha. But I don't understand why they have to do that right there, though. You know, yeah. edging on the ledging. Oh, you said okay. Never mind. I misread that actually. <clears throat> so when are all of the honeymoons? <laughs> oh, shit. And what time exactly do we tune in for the wedding stream? <laughs> oh, Mars, I got bad news for you. I got real bad news for you. You want to hear the bad news or the bad news first? I'm gonna- hey listen, don't ever say I don't love you guys. I'm gonna let you pick. Mars, bad news or bad news first? Guys, I'll post some pictures in Discord though, don't worry. I did- okay, I will be very honest with you. I'll be very honest with you. I did- consider asking Meg to let me live stream from my phone her kicking my ass in tennis over uh, over our honeymoon. The problem is I wouldn't be able to read chat at all. Neither one of us would. And also it's just not a good idea to try on our honeymoon. It's a better idea to try somewhere else for sure. Imagine an IRL lunch an IRL tennis stream though. Wouldn't that be fun, Meg? That would be fun. I mean, it'd basically be like watching tennis. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just tennis. At tennis it's, it turns out what it is is it's tennis. The normal people you would watch on TV playing tennis. Yeah, it turns turns out it's it's what it is. It's just tennis. Maybe um, maybe we'll have some surprises in store for you. Hmm. I don't know. You're when? gonna drive the whole way. I could pop in and do a free association stream in the car. Oh, you actually meant okay. I was like, we didn't fucking talk about anything. No, we didn't. I was like, what do you mean? I don't know what you mean. I'm just thinking. I was about... very worried. Free association Meg was was just gonna like spill some secret or something we had talked about that I'd forgotten. No, but no, 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 no. I now I understand. And we will not be live streaming our wedding, so that's not anything that I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Mars I just mean Ryan's face. I just mean if Ryan gets sad enough about me about, about missing, missing no stream. chat. Listen, I I here's the shit. We're not gonna be streaming for two weeks, and it's gonna suck, but it's gonna be good for all of us in the long run, uh, including me. Frankly, it's gonna be great for me. I've been working my ass off the last month to make sure that stuff uh, still goes off without a without a hitch while I'm gone in terms of like YouTube and stuff, and um, it's gonna be great. Uh, this is gonna be good for me and good for you, and I'm not breaking up the chat, I promise. It's not good you for me. you, maybe, but think of the chat. The children. Think of the children. Nah, fuck the children. I'm, I mean, <clears throat> um... 
not what I meant. That's not what I meant, or or what I should have said. I didn't. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Well, uh, what do I make this one? I have some. I have some melon. I have one melon seed. Seems good, right? Did you just plant pumpkins on the one you're on? Yep. That's pumpkins. This one right here is pumpkins. All right. This one will be melons. Add quote, fuck the children. <clears throat> quote, unquote. I feel unsafe on the leading Twitch. I didn't mean to be clear. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I feel like there's a, cho a quote about uh, killing children as well. It's worse, babe. It's not about killing children. It's about shitting on children? It's about pooping on children. It's worse. You really gotta watch your life. I really do. That's a fucking creeper. There's a creeper in the fucking thingy. You bitch. Where at? In the cow thing? I saw you kill him though, you're pretty brave. I didn't actually get him yet. Oh. No, he's dead. Uh, there we go. FBI, open up. Ryan, you missed the hilarity again. Again, I said Meg just built a Minecraft replica of the accommodations where they'll be spending their honeymoon. Oh no, but no, you're better at this than I am. Oh um, no, uh, Santa Far, how's it going? Hello, welcome. Hi, Kings. Oh my God, dude, big yeah. raid. It's not showing up. I don't know why. There's no. There it is. Let's go. Farcade? Farquad? Farquad? Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, Dr. Who, how's it going? Santa Far, hello. Meg here. Farcade? Is a topic. Tried to tell me without consulting Ryan what Ryan's reasoning for two weeks without stream will be good for me. What's my reasoning for why two weeks without stream will be good for Mars? Um, because you'll Yo. be able to focus on becoming Dr. Zalian. Indeed. And uh, you won't have to listen to him forgetting to ask you how your day was and crap like that. That's true. So maybe you can find some people who actually care about you. Wow. You can watch Power Stream. Wow. Fark plus Arcade. Farcade. I love it. Thank you so much for the for the raid. Uh, sounds like you were enjoying some Minecraft. Kingsley, will you say thank you, Farcade, for the raid? Farcade raid. Thank you. How was the how was the uh, how was the stream? What were we doing? Were we playing vanilla? Were we playing hardcore? This is uh, my name's Ryan. This is my fiance Meg. Hi. Uh, she's my fiance for another mm, three days. You gonna break up with me then? Uh, no, we're gonna get married. Actually, oh, yeah. is what I thought we were oh, gonna yeah, do. You're right. That's you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's what I was gonna do. That'd be the plan. I was playing. No. Hardcore then died. No, my heart. Uh, all right, I'm giving Kingsley an extra treat for you. Pour one out for the homies. We're also having a beer real quick. Pour one out for the homies. Pour one out for Farcade's Hardcore Raid. Uh, Kingsley say, we're so sorry for your loss. I'm sorry to hear that. Had you played Hardcore before? Hardcore Congratulations, thank you. so scary. Hardcore sounds terrifying. We are both playing vanilla Minecraft for basically the first time. Like, we're both pretty trapped. We're... 26 and 27 year olds who don't know what we're doing in Minecraft yeah. uh, and we are failing a lot Megan died last time to some lava again it wasn't my fault I fell <laughs> in a hole I didn't it know it was my there fault. <laughs> it wasn't my fault um yeah so welcome to the shit show but says all right real talk if anyone ever sees this among all the cheers if there's anything that would force my hand to going live on twitch it'd be to get us through the next two weeks but that says Honestly, it's a great time to hang out with power. Um, I'm gonna be really active in the discord. I'm actually gonna get reading done So we'll have some we'll have some reading to talk about. I'll Sounds actually have like books. If you want to watch somebody who's actually good at Minecraft Maybe uh, maybe Farcade. we pop by a and uh, and and see what they're doing in Minecraft um, It was my third time I've died in each of them. Oh, no. Oh No So Farcade, where are you from if you don't mind me asking? Um, but we were talking earlier, I think Tub's still here, right? So Tub, I just saw the comment kind of right before we went live. I was off of Discord for most of the day. But Tub said uh, the thing about um, 
he posted in the Discord and said something like, if I were to stream just like basically chatting bullshit with a friend, would people tune in and watch? And uh, my, Tub is here, good. And so my response to Tub was gonna be um, that I, I say whether people are gonna watch or not, go for it. Um, and hopefully people will tune in and watch and, and you'll find people to tune in and watch. And I know it's a lot easier to say, it's a lot easier to do it when there's people tuning in to watch. But I think too that there's just like a lot of joy in doing it one way or the other, you know? Like there's a lot of joy in just like figuring out. It has helped the free associations flow when there are people here. <laughs> it helps your free association free flow. With. As, as Meg does, obviously, super well. Did you Our, know that there are a bunch of um, potatoes? Are we free associating right now? Oh, just kidding. Go ahead. Whoa, I just accidentally fed this chicken. Mm. A beetroot seed instead of planting it. Mm. What were you gonna say? Not my intents. Did you know there are a bunch of potatoes you can trade? I did, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep, I'm just trying to get more melons and stuff set up. Parkade says uh, I'm from good old Texas. I love it. We have another friend uh, from stream, Piety, who is from Texas. Um, good old, big old, everything my old ex is, is bigger in Texas. Texas. <laughs> Check. Have you been streaming on Twitch very long? It's time to enchant something before you die again. You're at level 32. You're right. Let me go take a look. You gonna finally finish reading of Mice and Men? Uh, what are you talking about? I've read that. I finished that one. Thankfully, it's so short. Mars says, Tub, I wanna watch you and Foot together streaming. What a pair. What a pair of people. What a peach. I feel what? like our farm now, basically, one of us just has to be constantly farming. Yeah, I mean, until we get to a thousand, and then we'll be fine. Did I give you the tree, by the way? Yes, you did. Okay, good. I couldn't remember. I hey, where do you want this? Never mind, I'm just going to move the stone. Uh, move all this. Couple months. Nice. We actually just crossed a year. We actually, uh, we celebrated a year... Not quite a month ago on Twitch. It's usually it's usually me. Um, we all like it better when Megan also joins, but day 999, still haven't enchanted anything in Minecraft. I don't know what I should enchant, really. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's the story behind the name, Farkid? Uh, one day I'll get there, I promise. How much do you need footnote for this uh for the gold and iron uh rail damn you must need loads dude sometimes the hardest part the hardest thing in this game is remembering why you walked into a room you know it's kind of like life in that way yes indeed mm, yes quite Dude, melons pop off, man. Melons pop off? Yeah, they do. In terms of, like, growing fast? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna, I was gonna do that. Yep, good call. The problem is we don't have that much diamond, you know? I can always do, like, one of those, but... We have, like, 20 diamonds right here. Fortune, to efficiency, unbreaking one. Unbreaking one is good, right? Oh, good, I just did it, so. Do I need to go back to the mines? I, I mean, nice. I just did it on iron, which I don't know if that's smart at all, but. It's been nice living up here with the humans. Oh, well. In the daylight. I mean, did you get any cold for, cold, uh, uh, coal for us? Yeah. Good. I wonder if you can do unbreaking on a hoe. Can you do unbreaking on a hoe? I don't know. Maybe? Can't break this hoe. What? That's... Mm. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh. Yeah. You said it, not me. Um, it's been a weird night. Megan's in a weird mood. Uh, I don't hate it. It's it's kind of fucking funny. Um, just do a bunch of this shit. Do not enter the room, lest you forget something. It's true. I wanted the name Fark, but it's taken. It's a name I've had for a long time. 
Uh, why don't you take a Tums to fix your indigestion? Indeed. That's what we have the Pepto-Bismol for, beside people's, uh, people's names who sub. Got some Pepto-Bismol for our, for our indigestion. I'm little indigestion, this is little constipation, over to my right. I'm b Z69, don't you ever forget it. b Z69. Um, alright. Let's just build a couple more. Why not, right? Just enchant a bunch of shit and then get out of here. What's in my cup then? That's uh, that's silver Pepto Bismol. Didn't you know? It's mercury. It's yogurt. It's <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, it's uh, it's mercury. That's what it is. Hey, what's sharpness do? Do you think, babe? Uh, make something better. I don't know. Hold makes up. It, uh, makes what? it more sharp. I don't fucking know. Oh my god, I did that wrong again. Shit. I think it probably uh, mines stuff quicker. Yeah. It's faster. It there you go. Better. Santa Far says it's faster. Harper. It's faster. Wonder what efficiency is on shovels. Also faster? Seems like it would be. What about fortune on your hoe for when you're fortune on that and I fortuned on that hoe for when you're uh harvesting stuff harvesting I don't know stuff. didn't you ask that the other day yeah I don't think it's worth it I don't know I'm not gonna bother with that much more I'm just there's a bunch of extra tools in here if you want any by the way okay uh do that do 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 got an unbreaking iron shovel extra hoe Okay, there we go. Pepto, Mercury, and Piss. Gold is the piss, yeah. Y'all also need coal, and mining coal gets you XP. Yeah, I don't know how much coal we really need. Megan got some here. Got a bit there. Efficiency tools are life-changing? Really? See, hear me out. Okay, so Footnote's over here talking about what I could do with my levels to make to make my life easier. Hear me out though. What about if we do the opposite of that where I die a lot and and it makes my life harder because I think about the 28 levels that I lost along the way. Hear me out? Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I don't know where to plant my oak tree. I'm honestly getting lost in how large our farm is or now. My, Where is the... My spruce tree. Okay, so there's that. And this goes down a long way. Just plant it somewhere you can uh, you can harvest it a lot. And then we got this. Uh, and then this one, I don't think it really matters. Foot, tub, I love that idea. You guys should do it. Uh, alright. But why was there only one set of footprints? Oh, those <laughs> are mine. You died along the way. So if I just one... like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, just... go ahead, free associate, go for it. No, uh, <clears throat> what? If I just cut like the leaves of trees, will they grow back and give me saplings? So, mm, the way I think you want to do it, and I don't know. Does it oh, give you saplings sapling. when you cut the leaves? Uh huh. Never mind then. The only way I've ever done it, which is it, it turns out apparently the wrong way to do it. 
uh, is I'll just let the tree grow to like quote unquote full size and then I'll cut it down and in the process of cutting it down you get both wood and also saplings. But it sounds like I guess you can just farm the leaves for... I don't know, I hope the leaves grow back. I got a couple saplings though. Uh, it sounds like they probably will. I think they will. Pa fresh passion fruit? <clears throat> That sounds amazing. Do they yeah. have that there? Do us a do us a quick hot take on, on, hot passionate set, <clears throat> fresh passionate fruit. Passion fruit, not passionate fruit. I know it's just a joke about sex. Oh, um, I actually had when I so in high school. <laughs> I um, went to Costa Rica on a like school trip, and we had fresh squeezed passion fruit juice. And it was the best. I believe that. So I have strong feeling, strong positive feelings about passion fruit, passion fruit juice. There you go. Very bueno. Very bueno. <sighs> so I just want to like. What I should probably do is take a break from this. I'm kind of losing my brain doing this. Yeah. Because I have to like keep reorganizing everything. I should probably just take a break take and a break. go sell all of our stuff to the farmer. See if any of them will sell to me yet. Yeah, do it. Uh. Lost says I feel like I should ask this again, but have any of you tried real craft RL craft for chat? I know Ryan didn't. I think mostly no, because we've got mostly new players. Uh, who was it that asked? Lost, I think Emmett, who is in the chat pretty often, actually had tried LRL Craft um, recently. I mean, it's not here right now, but had uh, had done it pretty recently, I think. I feel like our farm is already at like high production. Yeah, I think this is kind of basically the end of what to do here. Oh! Yo! What the? Speak of the freaking devil. Power himself. Ladies and gentlemen, if you thank you for the uh, for the. 10 freaking months power this episode. Hi, power. Ladies and gentlemen, if you if you need anything to do over the next two weeks, uh, and and Megan and I aren't here, because we won't be for approximately two weeks starting tomorrow, you know what to do. Sure, you you could ouch. You could gather in the Discord and we could talk shit about people or or about our lives. But what you really should do is come to Twitch and hang out with our friend Power Punch Plays. Who most recently Streamed some Pokemon trading card game online. Power, how's it going, dude? We were just talking about how uh, when we're gone on our honeymoon, people should just check you out and hang out over by you. I was <laughs> like, how is my life going to be better that you guys aren't streaming? And I, I said, said you, get to... you just get to go hang out on Power Stream instead of ours. <laughs> how's it going, man? Thanks so much for watching this episode of our Minecraft Let's Play series. If you liked what you saw, we would really appreciate a like underneath the video. Otherwise, we'll see you at the same time, same place tomorrow for more. Bye bye